Hello on day 23. So today's a good day too. Uh, Uncle John came over for a visit and it was nice. We went out to do a couple of errands and uh, yeah, it was nice to get out there. It was such a beautiful, gorgeous day. Had a lot of windows open, got some fresh air into the house. The stream behind my house is raging. It was a really nice day. And I have a couple of crocuses blooming in the front yard. They weren't even there this morning. So very cool. Um, me, I'm doing well. Today's try was I had some smoked salmon. Um, really high protein content for the calories. There's some fat, but still, it's, uh, I forget, it's something like 19 grams of protein for 150 calories. Anyway, so cool. Tried some smoked salmon on little uh, gristle toasty things, and uh, I ate four crackers with um, smoked salmon and a little bit of um, low-fat cream cheese, and that went down a super treat. Um, ended up being really nice, but it's much more like a treat because once you add in the crackers and the cream cheese It was like I forget something like 15 grams of protein and uh, 200 calories So it's a little high, but it's an awesome treat. I love smoked salmon And if I figure out a way to to eat it without crackers and cream cheese, well, then it'll be even better for me anyway um, So that was really cool got to try that. Oh and yesterday I made for the first time I posted a picture online um, zoodles so thank you, Stephanie, for telling me about the zoodles. Um, so I turned a zucchini into noodles, and it, it's basically a thing that looks like a... The one I got is super cheap, like 10 bucks or less. And you twist the zucchini through it, and it comes out either noodles, or if you flip it around, it comes out in like a thin spiral. And um, what I did was I took a little pre-cooked uh, that I have, lean ground chicken, mixed it with a little um, tomato sauce out of a can. Um, and so I used a cup of sauce... Uh, 100 grams of lean ground chicken and um, a one zucchini and that made finished two cups cooked um, it was tasty as heck a little crunchier in a different way than pasta so I don't know if this is ever something I'm going to be able to sneak past the kids I think they're going to know this ain't spaghetti um, but I liked it and uh, the thing that I found surprising was I'm, I'm peeling the, the zucchini because the peel, if it's not small enough, that could be one of those things that gives us a, a blockage. Anyway, so I'm being super careful. So I was peeling the zucchini, and I'm like, why am I smelling pumpkin? Zucchinis smell just like pumpkin. Ugh, horrible smell. I, I don't like the smell of pumpkin, personally. Anyway, so I'm spiraling, I'm like, ugh, pumpkin. So what I did was I heated up the sauce and the meat in a pan, and then I just quickly doused the... Um, the zucchini into some hot water just let it sit there for a minute or two just to soften a little bit and then I drained that and just put it in the sauce and let the zucchini cook in the sauce so it gave it some flavor because zucchini is basically flavorless and it was yummy as all get out I really enjoyed it so now I just need to figure out how long zucchini that's been spiralized can keep um, because it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do that every single time you know it'd be easier to just do a bunch and uh, I so far really like it to try it out on Dan when they're here um, but like I said I don't think I'll get it past the kids so all in all really good last 24 hours spiralized zucchini was a treat and super awesome with the protein versus carbs versus calories it's uh, like a perfect meal and today I got to try smoked salmon so uh, happy 23rd day to me and crocuses blooming spring is here spring is here spring is here